Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Uh, let's do a Steam Deck video today. I've got a Steam Deck. I don't do enough videos uh, about it, but this one I had to do. Now, I am a big fighting games fan, and I'm a big fan of Fightcade. Like, I played a lot of Street Fighter Online on Fightcade. Not just Street Fighter, but we've got, like, the King of Fighters games. We've got the whole of the Final Burn Neo set. And this is a tutorial, so we'll look at the easiest way of... Uh, installing Fightcade and running it and getting the games working and everything on there now i have done everything only using a steam deck now i've got a dock so i can make things easier i can plug in an external keyboard uh, i can plug in a mouse and get things going but i wanted to do it just on a steam deck because i appreciate some of you guys may only have the steam deck it might be your only machine so let's just installing it using nothing but the steam deck and get it up and running so guys before we get into the video fully if you're not already subscribed to the channel then a subscription and a like is really appreciated it is the best way you can support the channel fight Kid is really really good just a few things uh before we got kind of go over the, uh, the tutorial now one issue that i have is the d-pad on uh, the steam deck for me at least it's not very good for fighting games i have difficulties doing some of the moves but don't let that limit you guys uh, you can use external controllers like some of the controllers featured here i can uh, use a controller via bluetooth but that will add a little bit of latency or i can use it via an rf dongle or ultimately you can just use it wired so options are available for us and if you want to be extra hardcore, what you can do is you can plug in a dock or uh, like I've got. So I haven't got the official dock. I bought this dock before the official dock was out, but it works really, really nicely. I think it was about half the price. Very, very, very good build quality. I've not had any issues with it. So you can plug in, uh, you can plug it in via USB. Uh, the dock, in this case, this will give me video out. It's not something I'm going to use, but if you haven't got a system, you can play it like that. But ultimately, it's got an Ethernet adapter. Now, if you're going to play, if you're very good at fighting games and you want to play against the hardcore, they generally avoid players on Wi-Fi. There's an indicator on Fightcade that lets you know. So... If, you're, if you want to go wired, you want to go the hardcore way, then uh, going wired is an option. Not something I'm going to do. For me, this is just casual playing fun, but the option is there. Okay, guys, let's get into this tutorial. So everything you're seeing here is directly on the Steam Deck. I use capturing software. You can see at the bottom, OBS recording software to capture everything. I didn't use any external devices. This is simply on the Steam Deck. So for those of you that have only got Steam Deck, this should be very, very easy to do. So the first thing you want to do is head over to desktop mode. If you're unsure how to do that, press the Steam button on the bottom left of your Steam Deck, go down to power, and then go down to the option that says it's something like into desktop mode. Uh, once you're there, it will bring you here. And then what you want to do then is you want to go to the discover the discover store which is by default at the bottom on the taskbar once you're in there search for fight key now bear in mind i have got the 512 um, version of the steam deck and i'm installing this on my ssd you can install this on your micro sd and then you just have to change the directories and when you're installing some of the other files that i'm showing just put them in the fight code folder that's on the sd card but in this video we're going to have a look at the ssd uh, again if you've got an sd card the locations will be slightly different so i've already got this installed that's why you can see launch up there but what you want to do is go to fightcade and just install it install it in the default uh, location and what we'll do we'll have a look at the next steps we'll get this up and running and we'll see a way for us to get all the games uh, uh what's the word automatically okay so next up guys head over to this reddit link it'll be in the description of the video and there is a link within that reddit link that will Give you access to uh the file or the json files that will grab the games for you automatically now i had some issues i'm in the uk my isp is virgin media and virgin media for some reason blocks this site so i had to use a vpn uh, in order to get this uh, to get to this site and to get to this file I, I don't know i don't really know why it's blocked but it is blocked via virgin uh when i when I, well, I actually downloaded it from my mobile phone and then sent the file over as an attachment uh, but i got it over it's up to you how you get it you might be able to get it straight away if not you might need to use vpn or you might need to do it from your mobile whatever uh, but this th that's the file you want so you want to head over to this reddit page here link in the description and you're looking uh, for that link in this post which is the auto downloader and the reason that we want that is because uh, we don't want to put all the games on there there's thousands like there's thousands like over 10,000 games i think once you include snes mega drive uh, the final burn neo games what we want to do is we want to put fightcade on there and when we go into a room for a game we want the, the game to be fetched automatically and this this is what we need to do it if you do want to put the full rom on there then uh, the full rom set on there then you just need to get the fb neo the final burn neo uh rom set and the number is 0.2.97.44 but it does tell you that in the fight decade description 
Okay, so once you have grabbed that file, you're going to end up with this zip. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and extract that zip. So go ahead, right click it. And what you want to do then is go to extract and pick the bottom option, extract archive here, uh, auto detect subfolders or whatever, whatever, whatever it was. Sorry, I'm misreading it now. And then what we want to do is highlight everything in here that's what we want to do sorry so i'm still not used to the steam controls fully when using it but again like i said i wanted to do it uh, so it's easy for all of you guys to do so anyway highlight everything in this folder and what you want to do is copy that and then after that you want to go to your fightcade installation which if we have a look up the top we're going to see exactly where it is so we're going to go uh we're going to go home then we're going to go to .var. You can see it at the top there at the bar. So home.var. Then we're going to go over to app. And here I am trying to find Fightcade. I've just spotted it there. But I think I go up again before getting to it. Sorry. I kind of recorded this and I'm trying to time the voiceover. I'm not the most professional when doing these. But there you go. So it's home.var app Fightcade. And what you want to do is all those files that we've unzipped. The whole load of them, you just want to put them and you want to paste them in here. I've already got them in here. Make sure you click that apply to all at the bottom and you just want to copy all of them in here. My one's just going to overwrite them because I've done this. I tested it before I did the tutorial. So once they're in there, we are pretty much like done. So let's go ahead and uh, try some games out. Okay, guys, now that we've got the JSON files uh, within Fightcade, which will fetch the games for us, let's go ahead and launch Fightcade. Now, one thing to do over here is uh, make sure that you have got your uh, your Steam controls set as controller and not the mouse. And that's easy enough to do. By default, at least my one, the analog sticks are like a mouse. Uh, so what you do is you hold down the start button or the three lines. You know the buttons with the three lines? It's on the right hand side. I always call it the start button because for me it's always start and select. That's how I remember it. Once you hold it down, you're going to see it. Controller, action, set. Once, you, once you've got that set, you're good. And you always need to have this set before you start Fightcade. If you've got it in mouse mode and you start Fightcade, you can't ch change it once it has launched you will have to uh, close it down and relaunch it again so here we are in fightcade so let's have a look at the games and there are loads and loads of games but we're going to go in something popular we're going to go in just king of fighters and now first of all what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to test the game and the reason you want to test the game is first of all you want to see if it's fetched the game for you which it has now i didn't have this game on there the json files fetched it for me and there's a whole bunch of options uh, in here first thing we want to do is go to inputs uh, i'm doing this on the steam deck so it's a bit tricky a little bit it takes a little bit of getting used to but i'm doing my controls here i'm setting the controller to i've already done it i'm just going to go over a couple of them and then once you do that you kind of want to save it as a preset so this will save this control scheme for all neo geo games the same works for all capcom games uh etc so here you go when you save preset you'll see it there it saved it as like a neo geo preset there are other options in here as well let's have a look at uh some of those so under under video there's an option called run ahead now generally i have this set to two this eliminates latency see i can't won't get into the full mechanics of run, run ahead i guess that's for another video uh but yeah run ahead is really really good i have it set to two if you're going to play street fighter 3 first strike then set it to one at least that's the community community recommendation then you've got other options in the video now i have set it to scan lines on that's up to you if you like it with scan lines or you don't like it with scan lines i really like it with scan lines on and that's how i'm going to play it now full screen didn't work well for me whenever i tried full screen it just wouldn't do it uh, and the other thing is this didn't work good via you know the steam os via the what, what is it called uh like the big picture mode it didn't work well for me so i am playing this in desktop mode only but i like it in desktop mode i feel like having a mouse and some other thing does make some things easier i found it very very in 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 unintuitive in big picture mode but very very good to use um in desktop mode now i'm okay using um using uh using it like this just having it having it not full screen having these options here because the sprites are big in this anyway so i can kind of see everything that's going on and uh now after this <laughs> let's go and challenge someone online i'm gonna get whacked out because i'm not really a king of fighters player but and i've got i'm making excuses uh but i'm gonna get whacked out but let's go and try and challenge someone and uh, see how we get on
Okay guys, so here we are in Fight Kid. We're in the King of Fighters 98 room. Now bear in mind like the guys here are really, really good. So prepare to get whacked out. Now I challenged someone called Smoke21. They rejected the channel, so some people reject you. Mainly because you're on Wi-Fi. A lot of people like wired games here. But as you can see, uh, they call it the middle finger because you've got that red explanation mark in the middle. But we've been, we've we've now um, been accepted for a challenge. We've challenged someone. We're going to play King of Fighters now. Bear in mind, it wasn't the best connection there. So you, you might get some, like, some of that stuttering at the beginning. But generally it works really really well even even on wi-fi uh you know if you're playing this like properly properly and you're a hardcore player then you need you need a wired connection you probably need better controls so you're probably better off docking this uh, if you've got a monitor or something and playing it that way but if you are going to play around uh you know in like, like, like for example like me i will play this when lying down in bed i'll be chilling i'll give one of my mates a call and i'll say hey do you want to mess about on something and i'm quite happy playing stuff like final fight metal slug cadillac and dinosaurs but here i am i am playing somebody online now uh, in king of fighters uh, and also like the keyboard part works as well uh you know if you press the steam key and and the x button the keyboard comes up and if you want to talk uh, to the other player uh it's just t and then you can open a dialogue it's always good to quit to say ggs and just kind of announce one game it does make it a little bit harder just on the steam deck but it is doable but overall like it's a fun experience and I would say like playing people in the same country as you or even the same continent as you is is honestly it's really really nice and like the ggpo netcode the rollback netcodes works works really well uh, surprisingly well even on wi-fi um but generally like i've got a different username here r2d2 because if you ever see that challenge me this is me messing around on my steam deck when i'm playing like on my pc uh indoors then it's called pixel cherry ninja but this is working really really well guys I do hope uh, you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, then a like and a subscription is super appreciated. Let me know if you want to see more Steam Deck videos. If I do find interesting stuff uh, that feels not really covered on YouTube, I'll definitely make me, uh, more videos. Let me know what you think about Steam Deck videos if you want to see more. Uh, but guys, look, thank you for watching. As always, your time is appreciated. I will see you guys in the next video. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.